my mom and I were asked to join my boyfriend's family and church on a mission trip to the Dominican Republic. I didn't know what to expect. I'd never really been out of the country or on a mission trip for that matter. So I did what most people would do. I searched it. But what I found was nothing short of paradise. I thought to myself, this can't be right. Why would a place like this need my help? And then I tried another search. Dominican Republic poverty. That was it. Why didn't all of this come up in the first search? In that moment, I decided that this was something I needed to do. After my mom and I arrived in Santo Domingo and went through customs, we were greeted by Oscar and Jose, who were translators from Vision Trust, which is a nonprofit organization that helps the world's neediest children. After that, Oscar and Jose took us back to our hotels, where we would later be welcomed by a group of people we had never really met before. But when we finally did get the chance to meet them, it was like everything just kind of clicked. Like we were brought together by this drive to help these people and it was really just something beautiful to witness and be a part of. The first day we went to the center, I was overwhelmed. There were kids everywhere, chasing each other, playing basketball, playing on the playground, and almost instantly a child had attached himself to Josh, which is to be expected, but right before we walked into the door, like we hadn't even stepped foot in the door yet. But when we did go inside, I had to pause. I was so shocked by what I was seeing. He said, my passion is work uh, with the kids here in the center and in my church because uh, first I love the kids. It is something important to the community, work with the kids. In this community, there is a need very great to work with the kids. There are many kids who are maltreated, abandoned, who don't have their parents. That's why our nuestro trabajo principal es enfocarnos a esos niños para ayudarlos y tal vez darles un futuro diferente. Okay. Eh, he say here in the community we have some children that they, they don't live with their parents because they have uh, problems and the principal work for the center and the church is work with the, with the kids because uh, they need a better future. And so that's about 
exactly. If you don't buy it here, I think it's about 60 pesos for one job. And so they get five jobs for 75 pesos. And so we're helping to provide clean water to the whole community for a fraction of the price that they would have to pay otherwise. So while we're here each day, we usually start out every day with vacation Bible school. And vacation Bible school is when all the community kids come over, and there's so far there's been about 200 kids every morning. They show up, and they're usually here bright and early by 9 o'clock, ready for us to start. And we sing songs, and we learn Bible stories, and we do crafts, and then we finish every day with a hot lunch that vacation staff prepares for all the kids. And this week we've been talking about Daniel and some of the fun stories that are in the Old Testament in the book of Daniel, and how Daniel trusted God and obeyed God and followed him through his life. And so we're all trying to use Daniel as a guide for us to live our lives. So after vacation Bible school, we usually take a little break for lunch, and then we work with the teenagers. And the teen girls come over here and we watch a movie with them, we do crafts, we just hang out with them and talk to them about their lives. And then the teen boys come over and we take them to the baseball field and we play baseball with the boys. On the third day, I was playing basketball and I rolled my ankle after stepping on a large rock. I had to be carried into one of the classrooms to ice it and elevate it. While I was sitting in there, I just started to beat myself up about it. I, it wasn't the first time I'd injured this ankle and I was just thinking of a million different ways it could have been avoided. But then something really special happened. Multiple kids had been coming in to, to check on me and color with me. And then one of the kids that um, had actually on the first day messed with me and pinched me sat right next to me and held ice on my ankle for about an hour and a half. Uh, we have in this center around 143 children of different families in the community. Some of them have responsible parents who work and try to make a good living for them, but I would say more than 50% of these children are neglected and at risk in their health, in their education, and for us the most important thing in their spiritual development as we would like to see them becoming uh, Christian, mature children that in the future become leaders in their communities. Just a year ago we started having some troubles with the leaking in the roof because of the sealant that it's, it's getting older and the humidity in the country now uh, it's all gone and we need to repair that and when we found out that the work that needs to be done was so expensive we couldn't do it by ourselves uh, we are requesting the help because every time it rains it's raining also in the inside and actually part of the roof is already uh, with some holes and we are having the risk of being shut down by the Ministry of Education and the public health system of the country because under these conditions with the mold and the leaking we are not supposed to be teaching the children.